this is Corey with Nightmare Playgrounds and this is a little demo video on how to do some faux brickwork and plaster monster mud. Here we have a uh, OSB board and if you notice the top portion there is masked off and I'm only doing brickwork on the lower portion. Try to keep these bricks even and it will look more realistic that way. Um, you see the tape measure there. I actually was pretty much eyeballing it, not really paying too much attention to the tape measure. But when you're first starting out playing with this, you may want to use it. it. Helps keep your eye level and figuring out where the bricks should be going. What we're doing is this masking tape is actually taping off the mortar that is going to be in between the bricks. And you're going to have to forgive some of the little shaky camera work. Uh, the guy who's operating the camera shutter, he actually uh, is used to holding a regular camera and not one that has moving pictures. You see I'm running off for the uh, masking tape. I actually like to cut the masking tape ahead of time and do kind of a little bit of a wavy line because if you notice on brick walls, most bricks don't have a perfectly even grout line. There's a little bit of waver to them because the bricks are not perfectly even either. And here I am masking off the vertical portions of the bricks. I like to stagger them, them like the lines don't all match up. On a side note, this masking tape that I'm using for this demo is actually just kind of a regular old masking tape. I think I was using a Scotch brand or something. Um, I highly recommend if you're going to do any kind of taping that if you really want it to look awesome that you splurge and spend the 10 bucks to get that froggies tape, the green tape. That stuff is amazing. If your surface is pretty well smooth and you've got a decent, you've got it blended down real well, it's going to make a really clean, nice line. see me smoothing down the tape that's to help keep the bleed the paint from bleeding underneath of it and I'm using a basic brown color it has a slight reddish cast to it not a lot most browns have like a variety of red in them I'm going for a basic brown because what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer color on top of this but this is just the base coat and you see we're painting right over top of the grout lines what will be the grout lines then allow to dry. Now in the video I actually skip a step and you're gonna see it here when it flashes. You see the white and I actually did a little bit of the red overtone also. I have a brown that is a darker red and I stipple and that's just taking the brush and tapping it on the board like you're seeing me do with the, the gray there and you just do a random pattern all over those bricks in first that kind of reddish brown making them a little bit more red brown and then the lighter colors because bricks actually have several different colors in them then I take the gray and I kind of do a blotchy random pattern I don't I try not to make it super even all the way through across the ground but what this is gonna do is when the tape peels up you're gonna see that the edges of the brick actually have kind of a worn down look to them and here I am moving removing the tape from the upper portion it really helps to overlap the tape from like top to bottom or left to right. That way when you lift up an edge and you peel up one line of paint of the tape, it will actually lift up the tape that's sitting on top of it too. See the way the gray around the edges of the brick near the left hand side? it actually makes it look like that brick's receding a little bit and we're even going to make this look a little bit better so this is the monster mud plaster it is a kind of an off-white mixed with a kind of a lemon yellow um, 
oops paint's wonderful. This is actually not an oops paint. This was a, a mistake choice that we decided to, we thought we'd want our bedroom painted in kind of this color, and thankfully we came to our senses. However, now I get to claim it and use it for the haunt. So as you see, I'm just troweling it on, smoothing it out a little bit, coming up on the edge of that wall there. And then I go in and I pat it out a little bit and give some different textures to it. That way it doesn't have the, the full lines. And then I go in with the edge of this trowel here and I just kind of clean that up. Now if you wanted to, and you wanted to look like you had several layers of plaster over top of this wall, you could go in after this is dry and then do a second layer of of monster mud that's a slightly different color on top of this one so it has that chiseled look to it. Here I am using a very small brush and a little bit of the gray and a very light stippling on the grout. What this does is it creates a weathered and aged mold texture or a, um, a dirt impregnated texture in the grout and makes it a little less clean, makes it a little bit of a better better feel to it, like it's been there a while. Because if you have aged bricks and the grout is perfectly clean, it kind of makes your eyes think that that there's something not right there. Also, in a haunted house, you want it to look old and nasty and, and like it's actually been there a while. Hope you enjoyed this demo and I hope it's useful to you. And a big shout out to Deathworks for helping me get this class prepped.